We're walking here from our hotel. We're very excited to have our first meal here in Ho Chi Minh City. And undeniably, when you see a line like that behind us, oh man, just had to stop, just had to find out what they're eating. <laughs> it's so awesome. There's even a motorbike in line. I love that about Vietnam. Seriously, could not be more happy. You can see people like ourselves are being just persuaded from wherever they were walking to this direction to just meander that way and see what is for sale. So I love the motorbikes, I love the hustle and bustle. I really think no place in the whole world has street food energy like Vietnam. Thank you. The money has uh, large numbers, large denominations of bills, so you gotta use it. So, welcome to our first flavors of Vietnam. It is a home factory. Ban mi and then hun hoa means flower. I just had a minute to translate that on my phone. I do not speak Vietnamese, but this is a great example of a place where you don't speak the language. What are you gonna do when you just desperately want to order food? Well, first I will recommend starting the whole thing with a big smile. You know, if they see that you are interested, obviously they sell food, that's what they're in business for, so they're gonna sell you some food. So in the bag, cucumbers, daikon, carrots, chives or green onions, and cilantro. The reason they serve it separate is in case you don't wanna eat it immediately. This will make the bread all soggy. So pan mi just means bread. It is a obviously French influenced baguette type of bread. It's short, chunky, very thick, crusty. But in Vietnam, the pan mi is usually a sandwich. So you can order just the bread, but. Oh, dude, any submarine sandwich where I come from just cannot compare to this. You've got deep fried garlic and shallots. You've got pork. That's pork uh, floss on the top. You've got cheese, I think that's cheese. You've got like salami, you've got like spam. Uh, there's, a, there's a pickled carrot in there, I think, some daikon. Then you got the pate. Oh man, and there's still more. There's like pork, there's like some kind of big pork sausage. And then come these toppings. So the reason they serve it separately is if you don't want to eat it right now, I mean, I don't know how you could possibly be patient enough to get this all the way home, but they serve it separately so that your sandwich doesn't get all wet. Got a piece of paper, got a glove. So, man, I mean, it's huge. That sandwich is just huge. And then pork, like five different things, including pork. I'm looking forward to a three week trip of more of stuff just like this but it's great to cheers with you, the first flavor of Vietnam right now. Ban Mi, right here in Ho Chi Minh City. This is awesome. Mm. The pate is incredibly creamy. Black pepper, all the fillings though, they're awesome, but it is that fresh baked bread that is everything for the banh mi. I can tell that already. Mm. take one more bite and we'll go somewhere a tiny bit more quiet if that place exists to, to explore the sandwich more but just check out the line behind there's motorbikes just constantly you got to be ready I took a bike ride earlier a few hours ago and it was like just yeah very different than Thailand I'll say that but it was fun we've been here like 15 minutes the line is just not gonna stop I have no reason to believe it will ever stop until they sell out <laughs> Mm. 
Wow. I'm now down into the meat part of the sandwich. There's like a salami, Vietnamese sausage, some kind of pink thing, maybe that's what I was calling spam, some pork belly, and the pate has meat. So I think it's five or six types of meat. Mm. So you still, you still can't say this is an expensive item, but compared to Vietnamese street food, this was expensive, 60,000. 60,000 Vietnamese dong, so that's like $2.60. A very basic one of these might be 10, 12, 13,000. So this costs four times more than, than the standard version. So you can have quite nice and simple, but again, it starts with the bread. So you could still be completely satisfied. Have these in the morning with some coffee, or like we're having it just before dinner. Beautiful afternoon atmosphere. You see, uh, we're here for New Year's, by the way. So you see how the sky is getting dark already? And it's only 4.45 p.m. Man, so this is a pre-dinner warm-up. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> mm. Seriously, could not be more happy. So on this trip, looking forward to being able to pronounce things like Ban Mi more correctly. Looking forward to learning about more Vietnamese food Obviously. Also though, wanting to respect the levels that are available in Vietnam cuisine. I'm very excited for street food, but I've always, always just looked out for street food. So I only know most of the street food. So on this trip, I'm gonna be trying to learn the more complex, the more, not high end as in fine dining, but the more, the, the recipes of Vietnamese food that would be more difficult to learn about. So as in Thailand, I've realized I know much more than just street food in Thailand, but I'm kind of held to just street food in all the other places I travel, just because language or just because of uh, confidence in trying to order more complex dishes. But on this trip, I'm gonna be doing a lot more research than I usually do. So a thing like banh mi that you can have street style, I am gonna be on the lookout for more very fancy, super full versions like this one to share with all of you so that when you take a trip maybe to Vietnam for yourself, you might have a little bit more in your arsenal when it comes time to make an order. 